and welcome back for another one. Where are we at for this adventure? This is going to become a two-parter video. We are out here backpacking in the Gila of New Mexico and we are going to the Jordan Hot Springs. And I've got friends backpacking with me. We've got newbies, Tatiana and Laura. It's their very first trip. We've got Ed, we got Josh, Greg and Taylor and Bendy. Gonna be good times, oh boy. Scared you're gonna try and kill me. Sir, tell us what we are having for dinner tonight. Hey, what is this? Uh, pasta pomodoro, cherry, basically cherry tomato pasta with all kinds of heavy cream and good stuff. Yeah. So, since obviously you can't smell the camera, describe what you're smelling that is cooking right now. Um. Uh, pasta primavera with that cherry was tomato. Not what he said. That was uh, not that exactly what, he what it said. smells like? Something like that, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> something along those lines. Oh Start with P. Descriptions? Pesto. Um, it does Pomodoro. smell like pesto. Oh, it smells good. It smells good. <laughs> Thank you, Taylor. It smells like. Thank you for simple this. <laughs> oh God! Hi. Description? It smells like all of the garden. Oh my God. <laughs> That's actually a good one. You're welcome. I can smell the basil and the garlic that he's put in there. Looks like he's adding some more pesto now. Actually, it smells really good. Mm -hmm. We love, we love pesto. <laughs> There's a consensus. Creamy. Oh, Bindi got herself on stuck. It's gonna be good. Ooh. Yeah. Come here. Dinner right. time. We have the whole group. Communal dinner. The last supper. Josh didn't The die. last supper before we maybe get swept away in the river by oh, a yeah. flash flood and never come back. Yep, that. We forgot to say grace, you guys. We have Greg, he's new. Hi, Greg. <laughs> Laura, her first backpacking trip. Tatiana's as well, you remember her from Gregory and some other trips. Taylor, you remember him and the Josh. Oh. And we have the Ed, another new one. Yeah. <laughs> Are we excited for tomorrow? Yeah. Mm. Yes. Yay. Yay. I'm just annoying the shit out of them, that's great. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> We hate it here, CJ forces here against our will. <laughs> Send Taylor. help! It was Taylor's idea. Go backpacking. This I just, is your trip. No, this is your trip. I just followed along, buddy. Fight, fight! I would have came out here whether or not you guys were with me or not. <laughs> Good. 
She's surviving. We are halfway through the first part of the hike, which is all incline. We're only going about four miles in today. The hike is to the springs about seven, just over 17 there and back. We are only going about four. We're gonna camp just before the first river crossing. Uh, so yeah, it's an easy little day hike for us. We're gonna overnight. You can usually do it in a day there and back, but we're doing extra time because we can. It's her first backpacking. She's halfway through the incline. Whoa. Woo! We're doing good. We got, we got. In the distance. Oh, where am I at? Cannot see it on the camera. They're there. They're, they're there. Are you sure it's not hot nose? Oh, it doesn't have the right face. Ed spotted snake number one oh, of the trip. I think you can get her in the middle. Yeah, he's right there. His torso is going that way. His head's towards me. You're good. Hey, buddy. Got him. He'll, he'll strike at me. Oh, I meant with a hook, not with his hand. Where'd he go? He's, he's still he's under there. there. So he's under? I think he's gone back that way towards the log. Okay. There. See him? Head tips over. He's probably gone down tree now. Yeah, I don't yeah. see him. They're probably making too much ruckus for the poor dude. I don't see him anymore. I got too excited. <laughs> You touched him and he took it fucked. That's interesting though, they have the same patterning as like a hog nose. Alright. So won. Ed discovered a gopher. Gopher got away though, because we were too too excited about this. Kill. Or not kill, but catch, catch, kill. Oh, easy. No, no killing. No oh, killing the snakes. Catching, catching, catching. Catch release. You got a little too excited though. Yeah, we don't kill snakes him away. in this house. No. I mean, I, I... Oh, you see him? Oh. Down there. He's way the fuck in there. He said, absolutely the fuck not. So close. We were almost close to finding our first snake of the trip. Well, we did find well, it. We, we found, just didn't yeah. grab yeah. it. Yeah. And then Ed breaks the tree and scares me even more. Part, part of life. Part of life. Okay. We are trucking along. So yeah, like I was saying earlier, Jordan Hot Springs, they're about just over 17 there and back. We're only going four miles into the first river crossing today. Camp out, they hike to the springs. We're just taking our time. We're taking a vacation. The very first part of your trail is a little exposed, not in the trees, open, so have sunblock, sun coverage. And then as you get up the incline, you slowly start obviously climbing elevation. So you start getting into more of a you know, this vegetation. And then once we drop into the canyon, we're gonna actually get some tree trees. So we're making progress. Yeah. Little gopher? Yeah. He bolted. Oh. He's determined to find more snakes. All right, we are over halfway to our campsite for tonight. So you go about two miles uphill, and then you plateau, and then it's about two miles down and into your Little Bear Canyon. We're doing the Little Bear Canyon trip version, but you go two miles down, and then you'll hit your river. Super easy peasy, just take your time, just enjoy it. Ed's up ahead of me. And we got Laura over there, going around the corner. Well, she's headed downhill. <laughs> and surveying the land for snakes. Me, snakes never. Never.
Auntie Edward. These rocks were formed when Lucifer was cast out of heaven. <laughs> the impact raised the ground immediately beneath him, the Sierra Nevadas, and thus calls buckling all the way inland to what we currently refer to today as New Mexico. <laughs> Okay, we're here. Uh, we have made it to the river crossing. We're about four miles up into the canyon, Little Bear Canyon, and we are setting up the camp. Uh, currently, I'm inside an MSR Hubba Hubba One. Thank you, Zoe. My friend Zoe is letting me borrow it. I'm trying to decide a one person backpacking tent that I want for the future. I haven't picked one yet, so I'm trying tents out before I decide on which one I want. Speaking of friends and good advice, uh, my friend Elizabeth, if you're watching this, thank you. Uh, she recently showed me a new little pump. Some people, if you're getting altitude, it's a little hard to fill an air pump. Little pump off of Amazon. It's a flex tail gear tiny pump. The bottom is even a lantern. Uh, it inflates and deflates. Has a little bag. Comes with uh, little adapters. You yeah, know, that, that fun jazz, adapters. Ha <laughs> ha. But we are going to uh, fill up my current pad, which is a big Agnes Air Core, which I got used. Saved money, aha. Uh -huh. It's definitely not the pack I'm going to stick with for forever. I want to cut weight and I don't really need a rectangular one. I want a mummy bag shaped one and a little lighter one, but this has worked and it was cheap. It's been my staple for the moment, <laughs> but it is a little big. Although I like loft, I'm a side sleeper. So we're gonna see how this uh, inflation goes. That's loud. Being yelled at, being told them to show off. The only downfall of having a pump when you're backcountry or just backpacking, no. pumps really aren't quiet. And well, I feel bad. Cause I was like in a camp, say like Boulderfield, Long's Peak. See that video? Haha. <laughs> you can look at that one. Uh, I would probably worry about using this cause I would feel bad disturbing the peace. I only have my coworkers with me and friends, coworkers and friends. So I don't feel too bad. I told him I was gonna test this out anyway. God, this is loud. So, if you have big air core, little guy, rubber thing adapter will be your best bet. Ed's gonna go to his tent and see if he can hear those pumps that well from his tent. But it is working. No? He says it's not that loud. <laughs> All right, it works. 
probably won't use this for my standard backpacking, only if I'm going to like high altitudes when I'm worried about having oxygen when I get to the top. Uh, but you know, it's quick. You can use it as a lantern. It's rechargeable, has little adapters. So depending on what pad you have, you can figure out which one works. It is the uh, flex tail. I will put the link to it down below. And if you are looking for a backpacking pump slash lantern, it's an option. Thanks again, Elizabeth. Dang it, I was doing so good too. <laughs> We have beachfront property in camp. How cold is it? Really cold. Really cold? Like super cold? Like you jumped in and you shot cold? It sucks the life out of you cold. <laughs> but then after like five seconds, it's this very embracing cold that just snuggles you. And then the sun hits you. <laughs> Don't float down the river, sir. I mean, it could show again. Right <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I lost a shoe. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Police. But he got it. Oh. Oh. You gonna go in? Uh, we don't record yet. Uh, I think we're obligated to. Uh, obligate the, the film me going in the water? Uh huh. Yeah. Well, that's been fun. <laughs> After a workout. That's true. It'll help your muscles. That's great. No, really good. Okay. Tomorrow, when we go to the hot springs, we have to inevitably cross the river and get into the water at points where we're going to be waist deep. So I figure I should probably uh, mentally prep myself by knowing what I'm walking into tomorrow. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, let me go. Is stepping in the ice hole in Fenton. Still cold. That's gonna be cold tomorrow. We're definitely gonna be awake. The downfall. So recently I got diagnosed with Raynaud's disease. Uh, circulation things, we talked about that in the past. My feet are gonna be very cold. This is gonna hurt. This, this is gonna hurt a little bit more than it probably would for most people. But it's gonna be totally worth it. Oh yeah. All right, we might as well do tattooers. Show you what we're camping in. First, we have Ed. All right, tell us about your setup, bro. Uh, for Nemo, um, Hornet One. Um, it's green. There's a zipper on here. It's cool and it's lightweight. Um, I have a whole bunch of shit. Just, sorry, stuff. No, you can pass it. Okay, cool. That shit. I can bleep out easily. Um. FMS in there, feel free to take a look. What kind of gear you got? Um, I have an old REI Igneo 20. I think it's an Igneo 20 sleeping bag. Um, 
only been washed twice, but it still works fantastic. <laughs> I'm testing out, sponsor me, Cost Guitars. I'm gonna beat the hell out of your guitar and it better work. Um, ultras, because I'm a human being. Smart wool, because it's better than darn tough. Um, I'm a darn tough fan. Sorry, guys. <laughs> sorry, darn tough. Um, Osprey Exos 58 with a big old hole. I don't know how that got there. Um, toilet paper in. Some, uh, I don't know. Toiletries. I think, <laughs> I think that's the word. An old. What kind of sleeping pad you got? The Thermarest Neo Air X Therm. Ooh. Do you know what its R rating is? Um, it's over six. Not really? So That's a really high R rating. Yeah. Dang. And it's probably lighter than everyone else is here too. Probably. I'm just saying. Um, Would you say that it's comfortable for a side sleeper? Oh yeah. Yeah? I sleep I sleep on all sides. Mm, okay. Do um, you want me to get all detailed? Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, gravity filter. Gravity is your friend. Non-gravity is not your friend, or lack <laughs> thereof. Unless you're me, and I prefer to have a hose so that I can get to my water source no matter what. You and your hose. <laughs> um, Arcteric cerium. Warm as warm as heck. Not warm as. <laughs> Uh, an old ass compression sack with my smart wool <laughs> socks, REI undies, God knows what else. A base layer, smart wool, of course. <laughs> no darn tough base layers. Um, REI before it was a co op and it was just another capitalist pig society. Uh, you want me to pull my stove on? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You need Pocket Rocket 2 Deluxe with a button to push start your fire because I'm lazy as shit. <laughs> Little doodad. That's nifty. You have to buy the whole seat if you don't only need the edge. <laughs> um, I think that's it. Cool. Mountain Hardware shirt. The boxers I got. I got REI wool boxers on. These uh, Salomon Cross amphibians are shit, <laughs> and debris gets in them. But I thought they looked cool. Prana shorts. Glasses from Zenny. Uh, what else? What else do I have on, guys? Your hat. Uh, uh, Prana hat. Your hat. Lone wolf. Cause I'm cheesy as heck, and I'm a loner. And uh, yeah, that, I think that's it. Wet fires, because I don't have time to gather tinder and shit. I'm a lazy American. <laughs> All right, and there we have it. That is Ed's setup. <laughs> All right, next up on our tent tours is Laura. Don't do it now, I'm nope. blowing up my pillow. We're doing it now. That's, it's a great time to do it, because people can see what you're using and how hard or difficult it is to use the item. What, what kind of pillow you got? It's the Philo Elite Luxury from Nemo, and it's too f***ing big for the disco. <laughs> what is the disco, per se? This goes her, her sleeping bag in there? Yeah, it's the Nemo Disco 15, and it has a little pillow pocket, and this one's too long. <laughs> that's comfortable, right? It's comfy. Okay, that's good, that's good. That's ah, good. shit. <laughs> yeah, That is a really long pillow. I got the Nemo Philo, like, but it's a regular. It's like half the size of your yeah. pillow. Wow. It's a little long, but that's okay. Okay, so she got Nemo, and then what? What ear pad are you rocking? It's the uh, the Nemo Tensor. It's the insulated one. Ooh. Does it feel comfortable for people who sleep on their sides or their back? I don't know, dude. Well, do you sleep on your side? I do, and it's. I don't. I wouldn't call it great. Okay, duly noted. Not great. Not I've only the worst. I've on it once, but uh, I would not say great. But it's it's not the worst. It's just it's okay. We're testing things out. We're gonna we're gonna fine tune. Right? And then okay, what kind of jacket you got over there? It is the Cotopaxi Fuego. Mm -hmm. Does it do yours? It does. Nice. This thing is amazing. I love this thing. 
And then tell me about the tent. What tent are you in? I'm it borrowing is. this tent. Okay, I think it's the Copper Spur. Big Agnes. Uh, pretty sure it is the Copper yeah, Spur. Yeah, it's Big Agnes Copper Spur. One person. Thank you, Steel. Yeah, shout out to Steel. Um. Yeah. And then uh, what do we got over here? Hygiene bag. Ooh. Food bag. The Ultra Lone Peak. Consensus of the boots. Debatable. 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 Don't know if they're backpacking shoes yet, but they're pretty good. Okay. Maybe not backpacking, but they're good. They're very comfortable for normal hiking. And then, uh... I got a Sawyer Squeeze attached to a smart water bottle. Yeah, because it's a fad. I've only used this once, so I guess we'll see if I get Giardia. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's not. It's, it's not. not. All right, thing. and then what, what are we wearing? Um, I have the Prana, what is it, Halley Stretch... I think it's Halley? Haley? Yeah, Halley, whatever. Haley, one of those? One of those, the prana pants. The, 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 not the jogger, the other one. Yes, the ones you can actually roll up and uh, mm -hmm. have the uh, open bottom. Yeah. And this is the uh, REI Sahara Sun shirt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm wearing some Tevas. Te These are the Hurricanes, and I love these stupid color, things. Another color of those. Why are you putting free feet right pics on the internet? I'm just kidding. That's fair. That's a fair. That's a fair question. That is I don't a fair want my question. Feet on there. I'm just kidding. Anyway, um, the hurricanes are pretty good. We all like f***ing have them, and they're f***ing amazing. They're pretty great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Tent editions with me. All right, and here we have Tatiana. What kind of tent we have? We have the Nemo Dagger two person. Mm -hmm. Two person. How, how heavy is it? I believe it's less than two pounds. So not too bad. How how tall did you say you were? I'm five foot. You're five foot. And it's something you can carry in your pack? Yes. Okay. Definitely. Lots of mesh, but it's breathable, comes with a rain cover. Brilliant. Yeah. Right, so what else we got? Okay. So we come in here. I'm sleeping on the Nemo Tensor. Um, this is my boyfriend, so it's uh, long, wide. <laughs> I don't really need that much, but it's very comfortable. Like Saves it. you money. Mine, yeah. I, got it. I got it out of garage sale. Exactly. It saves me money. It's big, more than I need, but it saves me money. Exactly. For my sleeping pad or sleeping bag, I'm also using my boyfriend's. It is the REI Magma Quilt. Nice. And a rumple because I get cold. So I don't like to be cold. I'd rather here. be safe than sorry. That's, that's true. Just, just in case. My food. Um my boots which i absolutely love the willow renegades yeah all-time favorites my compression sack for my clothes um my nemo pillow not as long as laura's not as long as laura's i have the deluxe rain jacket just in case it rains because you never know it's also a good one blocker yes keep you warm outdoor research absolutely love it and my Arteryx I think it's the animal light I think so yeah that sounds right absolute favorite jacket as well and, and she's got her own Sahara yeah. Sun hoodie on Sahara Sun hoodie REI convertible pants smart wool socks and Teva sandals and look at those wonderful fingernails very nicely done doesn't stop her from backpacking at all. <laughs> she can do quite a bit with those nails. It is yes, rather I impressive. Can. Yes. You can still be girly and be in the woods at the same time. Exactly. <laughs> no stopping you. No stopping you. We figure we'll continue the tent editions tomorrow night. Some of us are getting ready for dinner and whatnot, so <laughs> tent tours will continue tomorrow uh, on part two of Gila Backpacking. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't figured out if it's going to be long enough for two parts or if it's going to be one parter. We'll find out. If it doesn't end up becoming a two-part, though, hope you like the video. Hit the like button. And if you aren't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button and follow along for more videos and adventures because, as always, there will be more, I promise. Uh, yeah. So just in case, that's there. And until next one, later.